In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the audit to do scheduled audits on an interval. I'll also show you how to do audit on demand. This is uh, the next step that you want to do after you use the asset discovery to pull in all your assets that are on your network. So as you can see here in my inventory and track it, I have a list of assets that were pulled in from my asset discovery that I performed a little while ago. <clears throat> and so now I'm going to show you how to audit one of those machines. There are a couple different ways you can run an audit uh, to suit your different needs depending on what you're trying to do. So some users, when they are putting new machines out onto a network for the first time, one of the things they like to do is to just get an audit of the machine so that it shows up in their inventory and track it, and then they go deploy it. So if, you're, if you fall into that category and you want to do that, all you need to do is get the new computer onto the network, uh, open up a Windows Explorer window, navigate to the Trackit server where Trackit is installed, uh, find the Trackit share, which would be shared out as Trackit on the machine, and find the audit executable in the folder and run that on the machine you want to scan. What that's going to do is it's going to audit the machine. It's going to scan for software, hardware, all the configuration information. I'll just run it here real quick just to show you kind of what it looks like. So this is the interactive audit window. Uh, you'll see it's going through software, hardware, file captures, save the results, and it'll show us a nice little summary screen here at the end. Uh, I'll run through this kind of quickly. This is what you see when you're doing an interactive audit, but just executing that audit file. So users that are being auto automatically audited across the network are not going to see this. It would be done silently. So there's a little summary screen of the information that it found. Now if you do it this way, if you perform an audit that way, when you're done, you have to go into your track and inventory and hit merge audit data so that the data will show up right away. If you don't merge it right away, the merge service will go ahead and merge it the next time it runs on an interval. But if you want to force it so you see it right away, you can just go ahead and do that. So now the more common way is for new users to audit is uh, after a new install of Trackit and after you've done your asset discovery, you're going to go in and see these machines in your inventory and you can select a group of them and right click and say audit now which if I do that now it takes a little bit I'm just gonna do one machine here for the example so I'm gonna pick this Windows 2008 machine that it found on our our asset discovery right click on it and I'm gonna say audit now now when I do that for the very first time if you haven't configured your network credentials so that you can connect to that machine track it's gonna tell you that so I'm gonna go ahead and say yes because without credentials it just cannot connect so in my test environment here, I'm going to use my administrator account. And I'm going to test that login to make sure it's good. And it is. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go back, right click, and say audit now. Now this will actually tell the Trackit server to queue an audit on that machine. So now what's happening is the, the Trackit service on the server is going out, finding that machine on the network, checking to see if there's a Trackit audit agent on there already. And if there's not, it'll go ahead and push one down to it. Once that agent is on the machine, it will run the audit and merge the results back in. Now, you don't have to sit here and wait and watch this the entire time. You can click Minimize, and it'll go ahead and shrink it. Uh, once the audit returns, when you open up your machine, you're going to see a whole bunch of information in here now that you didn't see before. Because uh, after the asset discovery, you really just have an IP and a MAC address. But now, you're going to see all sorts of information. So here's all the hardware. This is a virtual machine, so you're going to see VMware listed in here a few times. Uh, because it's a virtual machine, um, you know some things might look a little odd. Like it says VM virtual machine platform. That's the model number of that machine. Well, uh, you know it's not really a real model number. It's not really a real machine. But uh, here's the name of the computer all kinds of information. There's all the files that it detected. You'll see software. Um, here's all the software that was found. Um, we don't have any titles because we haven't done software licensing set up yet. We can do that in another video. Uh, so these are all, I mean, all the things that it finds on the machine. And that's pretty much it for the audit on demand. Now if you want to schedule audits, you can schedule these audits to occur and to do that you want to go to the administration console so tools administration console and we're gonna go under here under inventory under auditing and 
Here it's going to, you're going to set up audit execution. So you're going to say which days of the week audits are allowed to run. Here you can select whether you want user interaction. Um, and for the ones where it's an automated one, there will never be interaction. You can set up the, the uh, dates uh, and the times that you want to run here. So this is the actual scheduling piece right here. This other node that I showed you before is you can actually restrict your audit so it will not run on certain days if you don't want people running it all the time. If you want to actually schedule, you're going to go to execution dates, make sure it's enabled. You're going to set up the time, the days of the week you want to run, or if you want, you can schedule it on a certain day of the month or a specific date even. So you're going to set that up. Your queue shows you which audits are currently running and what's set up. The history will show you anything that's been audited. You can see there's the one we just did, it succeeded. Um, and there's some other scan criteria in here as well, whether you want to just do a quick scan or full scan. Some of those things are more advanced. The default settings are really all you need to worry about at this time. Uh, setup credentials is where we went a minute ago to set up our user ID and password so we can connect. And that's pretty much it for, for auditing. So you can, like I said before, you can manually audit, you can do an audit now, or you can set up a scheduled audit. Those are really the three ways to get an audit in there. So the whole process is you discover your assets, you use the directory importer to import your users from AD, then you run this audit, and the audit is going to link those users and workstations up based on the logged in user. Then you're ready to start creating work orders after you do, you have to do a couple other things like create some work order types and priorities, we'll go over that in another video. Um, but then you're ready to start using your help desk. So. I hope this video was helpful to you uh, in setting up the track at audit.